Hey guys, what's up? This is going to be my video on the top 10 best winterboard themes of 2012. Now, all the themes I list in this video will be found in the description down below, and they are also Retina Display compatible. In this video, I'll be going from number 10 all the way up to number 1, and at number 10 will be a great theme, and at number 1 will be the best theme of all time, and a theme that is definitely a must-have. All the themes that are listed in this video are paid, and I do recommend paying for these themes and supporting the developers who made them. And number 10 is Basalt HD. Once you go to the lock screen, you'll see that you have a fully customized status bar, which has a nice Zeppelin logo, which says Basalt, and you also do have custom Wi-Fi bars, and there is a different icon for the lock, and you do have your standard uh, battery percentage right there. In the middle of the lock screen, you have a very pleasant weather widget, including the sunrise time and also the sunset time. And you have the current time, which shows the hour, the minute, and the seconds. And then you have a custom slide to unlock bar, and you have a much different camera icon, which shows uh, the camera taking a picture. Now, once you slide to unlock, you'll see that each individual icon has a different image, and it's very unique to the icon. So, for example, for the camera icon, you see a camera, and the overall icon mask is on every app, including all your city apps, all your app store apps. Basically, on every icon, it is themed with Basalt HD. Now, in the middle, you have a very generous weather widget, which shows the current weather, and it shows an illustration of it, uh, and it is an animated weather widget. You do have the high, the low, the current temperature, and also the city and the state of weather and the current day. Now with Basalt HD, you also do have a custom color keyboard. So the keyboard is specifically designed for this theme. Some of the keys are red, so it matches with the other color mod of this theme, which is the uh, red color mod. And overall, this is a great keyboard. And when you're typing on it, you can see that the keys are a gradient color of silver and a little bit of black. Once you open up the phone app, you will see that you have a customized uh, keypad for your phone. At the top, you have a very turquoise-like color. It's a type of a light blue color as well. And you have the same color outlined between the keys. Uh, and you have a silver-like color as the main color on the keys as well. So that is Basalt HD coming in at number 10. The next theme in this video is Yakui. Now once you go to the lock screen, you'll see that this is by far one of the most original themes. Now you do have the time at the top, uh, you do have a weather widget which includes the day, and you have a custom slide to unlock bar at the bottom, and you have uh, some flashing images uh, in the very middle which animates uh, throughout all the pictures. So once you slide to unlock, You do have custom lock and unlock sound, so if you lock your device, those are the sounds that you will hear when you lock or unlock your device. As the developer of this theme states, this is a new breed of theming, and I couldn't agree more. Now when you look at the shape of the icons, you will see that all the icons have a hexagonal shape, uh, and they are shaped like a hexagon. Uh, and the wallpaper at the back is also a moving wallpaper. As you can see, it's animated, and there's lots of uh, shapes floating around in the background. And when you look at the dock, you'll see that you have your four main icons, which shows them being illuminated similar to Mac OS X. And if you go to the next page, you can see that uh, this theme is pretty flush, and it's very subtle, but yet it's a great theme at the same time. This theme is complete with full HTML5 animations uh, in the lock screen, in the springboard, basically everywhere in this theme. Uh, you do have many color mods, so if you don't like this color mod, you can have many more uh, to suit your liking. Now once you enable the notification center, you'll see that you have one of the best backgrounds, which uh, symbolizes this theme at the same time. It adds a different feel to your notification center with this very simple background. The next theme in this video is GC3. Now once you go to the lock screen of GC3, you will see that you have a different slide to unlock bar, and you have the time, and also your wallpaper that you're currently using, shadowed by the main wallpaper. 
Now once you slide to unlock, you will see that uh, this theme does come with a weather widget. So the weather widget is uh, overall one of the most detailed uh, and well-designed weather widgets. Now when you look at all the icons, you'll see that it is very well designed. Now, uh, for example, the messages app, you'll see that they are messaging. When you go to the next page, you'll see that all the icons are themed, including the app store icons. Uh, that's one of the benefits of this theme. And this theme also does come with a color keyboard. So when you type on this keyboard, you'll see that it is all completely themed. So if you don't like this current icon set, there's two others to choose from, and all in all, it comes with three in total. Now, once you go into the phone app, you'll see that GC3 completely customizes the whole uh, keypad, uh, and it skins it to the theme. Now, once you go into the music app, you'll see that GC3 has one of the best music players. Uh, it actually skins the album artwork and makes it into a circle, and the colors are changed to match uh, GC3. Now, once you go into the clock app of GC3, you'll see that GC3 uh, completely skins the whole app, and basically, this is one of the most complete themes that you will find uh, when you're using GC3. The next theme in this video is Select 3D. Now, this is a 3D theme, which is a great theme overall. Now, once you go to the lock screen, you'll see that uh, the lock screen is actually 3D. So you can see that there's 3D animations, and once you slide to unlock, now you do have a very nice weather widget, along with great icons overall, and you do have a custom floating dock at the bottom. The status bar is also fully themed, so you can see that the Wi-Fi bars are themed, and also uh, the battery percent is themed. And once you go to the notification center, you will see that it is themed as well. Now, once you go into the Messages app, you'll see that it is completely skinned with a custom background and also custom bubbles. And that is the Select 3D theme. The next theme in this video is a 2 UI Meek theme. Now, once you go to the lock screen of this theme, you'll see that you have a very pleasant weather widget in the middle along with the theme symbol and the time and the current date. And once you slide to unlock, you will see that this theme is completely customized and you can see that the images are constantly changing and you have the current weather uh, and you also do have uh, all the icons that are themed. Now this is by far one of the best themes icon wise because all the icons are themed very nicely and they also theme the app store icons uh, and there's a nice uh, time widget in the bottom of the theme. Now once you go into the keypad you'll see that all the keys are customized and are skinned to the 2 UI Unique theme. Now, this theme also does come with a color keyboard. So as you can see right there, everything is themed. And even the voice dictation on this theme is themed as well. If you don't like the color of this theme, there's also many color mods. And overall, that is the 2 UI Unique theme. And number 5 in the top 10 best windboard themes of 2012 video is Aspire. Now once you go to the lock screen of Aspire, you'll see that uh, when your device is charging, it is themed. And when it's not charging, you'll see that you have an overall nice lock screen. And overall, it looks very nice. Once you slide to unlock, you'll see that you have the Aspire theme. Now you have the weather widget at the very top of the theme, which is very detailed along with some of the icons that you have in this theme. Now overall the icon masks are uh, very well designed, especially for the App Store icons, the standard icons, even the City app I have installed on my device. They're all themed, uh, and this is a very elegant theme. Now it's very flush on the device. It doesn't scream for attention, it's just very uh, subtle to say the least. Now once you go to the multitasking bar, you'll see that it is themed with Aspire and you can see all your icons and this theme does come with a color keyboard so you can see that it matches the theme very well now if you enable Siri you will see that Siri is actually fully customized for the Aspire theme you can see the background right there and you also do see that uh, the Siri icon is actually listening and you can see that it is completely customized to green instead of that blue uh, color 
and Siri is customized very well. Once you go into voice dictation, you can see that it is also customized very well. Now once you go into the phone app, you will see that it is completely customized and it is skinned to the Aspire theme. And if you go into the calculator app, you will see that it is customized. So that is the Aspire theme coming in at number 5. The next theme in this video is Existin Z. Now once you go onto the lock screen of this theme, you will see that it is animated and you have a weather widget and it does say Existin Z and you do have a custom status bar along with the time widget at the very top and you do have a uh, different slider. So once you slide to unlock, you'll see that this theme does look very simple, although you can have many widgets on this theme if you so choose. And once you're using this theme, you can see that the icons uh, are very uh, elegant and they are very well designed with a little bit of gloss on each individual icon. Uh, and the music icon, it's different. It does look very close to stock, I must say, but if Apple was to make a theme, this is definitely how it would look. And overall, this theme is very appealing. If you go into the Notification Center, you will see that everything is themed in the Notification Center. It's not flashy, which is definitely a must in the theme, although it is very elegant at the same time and very classy, to say the least. So that is Existing Z at number 4. The next theme in this video is Pages. Now once you go to the lock screen of Pages, you will see that you have your weather widget, you have the uh, analog clock, and also a locked sign that looks like a scroll. And once you slide to unlock, you will see that this theme looks very simplistic. Although if you pay attention to details, you will see that each icon is, is like a page in a book as if you were turning it. It is very elegant, and if you look closely, you'll see that all the icons are themed if you look closely. And each individual icon is themed to what the name of the icon is. And if you go to the Notification Center on Pages, you'll see that you have a little emblem that says Pages at the bottom. And you can see that it does look very simplistic at the same time. Now once you go into the Music app, you'll see that the album artwork is reminiscent of the theme and it is skinned to the Pages theme. So that is Pages. The next theme in this video is the Ainetsuwa Twilight Evolution theme. Once you go to the theme, you'll see that the icons are all themed. Now, this theme is a very unique theme for one reason. It comes with an unprecedented seven icon sets. So if you don't like this icon set, there's six others that you can choose from. Now each individual icon is highly detailed. Each individual icon was designed one by one. One of the best parts of this theme is that you can have uh, lots of customization to it. It does come with many mods if you want to use them, uh, many weather widgets and such. It's just an overall well detailed, well put together theme that you want to have on your device. It does come with the keypad themed. So if you look at the keypad, you'll see that it is completely themed. And if you go into the music player, you will see that it is themed as well. Now if you look at all the icons, they are all themed. Each individual icon is themed, including the App Store icons, the City icons, the Standard icons. All the icons in this theme, or all the icons that you have on your device, will be themed when you're using this theme. Now even the status bar is themed with the custom Wi-Fi bars and also with the battery, it is themed as well and it is skinned to this layout. So that is the Ainetsuwa Evolution theme. And number one in the top 10 best winter board themes of 2012 is Legacy. Now once you go to the lock screen of Legacy, you will see that it is animated and it fades in and it fades out and, and overall this lock screen is very simple but but it does show that simple is good. Now once you slide to unlock, you'll see the legacy theme. At the top of the theme, you do have a nice clock widget, and you do have all of your icons. Now all the icons that you have are themed, and they are all skinned to the legacy theme. Now, for example, the Tweetbot icon is themed. Uh, basically, every icon is themed on your device when you have legacy installed. Now if you go into the music app, 
you'll see that it is themed and it does match the legacy colors. If you go into the phone app, you will see that it is themed as well, and this is by far one of the best themed keypads. Now this theme does come with many mods, including custom weather widgets, custom analog clocks, custom lock screens, custom springboards, custom icons, there's much more to this theme. And even if you look down at the dock, you can see that the icons are well designed. Now overall you can see that a lot of work has been put into this theme, and this is the legacy theme coming in at number one. So thank you for watching this video on the top 10 best winter board themes of 2012. Please be sure to subscribe, please like this video, please follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash applecritics and at reply me for any jailbreak related questions and I'll be sure to answer them. And also, feel free to iMessage me at applecriticsyt at me.com and I'll be sure to answer your iMessage and provide jailbreak help if needed. Feel free to like my Facebook fan page and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching.